So what are you thinking, Ruby? Yeah. Suppose we should just get it over with, huh? All right, we'll see how this goes. You returned. Hope you're finding the hotel to your liking. Now, what can I lend a hand with? Well, well, well. If it isn't Lord Bellhop Alan Norville himself. What? Oh, Claus, you didn't find my story, did you? Sakes alive, that's embarrassing as all hell. I guess I should have hit it better. Yeah. Well, since there's no way to put the leather boa back in the skinning machine, I might as well ask. What did you think? Uh, it was extremely entertaining. I enjoyed reading it. <laughs> and my old man said I never amount to anything. Move over, board announcement writer 256. Norville's coming for your job. Did you know the victim? Oh, of course. That is, uh, maybe not on a personal level, but I'm one of her biggest fans. Even started an association of like-minded individuals. I'd lament not having anything to meet about anymore, but the newer tribe just ain't done it for us. Still, there goes my hopes of a Terra on Monarch reunion episode. Uh, mind if I ask you a few questions about the crime scene? Please do. You want to give me more details on how you came across the body? Sure, I'd taken to checking the barroom every few hours prior to the unveiling. Just to make sure no sprats had snuck into the place. You understand? Found her right before I was set to head back to my room in the lower levels for my mandated five-hour sleep period. Tell ya, thank the law for caffeinoid. Been too upset to get a wink of sleep since... And hey, now I can finally see smells. That's probably not good. Um, any idea why Helen would have been in the ballroom after hours? Beats all hell out of me. Maybe she was, uh, practicing for the unveiling? Back to my sure. questions. What's um, on your mind? Did you see Helen on the day of her death? Of course I did. I just told you I found the body. Oh wait, uh, you mean when she was still breathing? Um, uh, no, no, of course I didn't. Plus, it's untoward for an employee to speculate about the actions of a hotel guest. Not that I saw any hotel guests interacting with her. How extremely suspicious. Um, <laughs> I think we both know that you're itching to gossip. Honestly, you're more than a little right. <laughs> I've been burning at the bridges to share my theories. Day of her death, I saw Helen leave the hotel premises with the profit of profitability, and didn't see her come back. A little on the suspicious side, I think. Okay. It seemed especially strange, seeing how, as far as I was aware, the two didn't get on. Back to another question. I already know the answer helped. to those two questions because we've already I'd talked like to the prophet. I'd like to be as useful as I can in the investigation. Just didn't want to steer anyone the wrong way. Got any idea who might have wanted to do Helen in? Everyone's got theories. I don't reckon mine hold much more weight than anyone else's. Okay. Well, that did not help in the slightest. <laughs> I was really hoping to get more answers from that, but apparently not. See, I, I feel like I want to check more of the hotel. Because we, f we went downstairs into the basement... But I feel like we should check the other rooms as well. What the? I was going to wash my hands, I swear. Sorry. Anyways, we need to look for clues, right? What is this? Medical center. We need to look for the little beep beep beeps. Okay, that's right, Helen's body's in here. Inspector. Constable Keen is dead. What? Sorry, this mask. Sometimes I can't hear correctly. It almost sounded like you said Maria Keene was dead. She was murdered in her office. Maria's been killed. I don't understand. How? Who did this? 
Uh, she was poisoned by potassium chloride. Do you know anything about it? Rather harmless on its own. Common ingredient in medicine, but it can have a lethal application. Potassium chloride, when delivered in a cocktail of neurotoxin and paralytic, leads to cardiac arrest. Oh, merciful law. I'm so sorry, Maria. That's as much as I know. Maria and I were frequently at loggerheads. We disagreed on practically everything. It didn't help that I'm on Mr. Kincannon's payroll and Maria is a Rizzo's loyalist. Was a Rizzo's loyalist. Apologies, Inspector. I don't have the heart to continue talking at the moment. Thank you for your time. Talk later. Okay, so... That didn't really help us at all. Um... Just looking for any clues, anything I missed. What are these? Elevators? Because we did go check the basement, so we could always go downstairs. Or, sorry, upstairs, because we did check downstairs. I just want to check every room, you know? What is this? Just a bathroom? Anything secret? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What if we ride the elevator up to the VIP floor and walk around? Because we checked the basement, and we did find some interesting stuff, albeit we did not find the killer, or evidence that led to the killer. But you never know. Uh, VIP guest floor. I feel like I'm missing vital pieces of information. I feel very underprepared for this. Okay, those I can't break into, which is a little interesting. Spencer. Really want to talk to him. Excuse me. Initiating banter protocol. Now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Well, if it isn't sanitation and maintenance unit. Are you operating at peak efficiency? Initiating digital handshake. Greetings, Burbage 3001. By design, this SAM unit must simulate excitement when interfacing with customers and or potential customers and or associates of customers and or potential customers. Now generating condescending dismissal. Well done, maintenance unit. This unit will have its people contact your people. Greetings, theater aficionado and or dumbstruck fan. You are standing in the vicinity of Burbage 3001. The latest and therefore greatest auto mechanical actor ever designed. Uh, engineering for- I see you've had some work done. Who upgraded you? Burbage 3001's programming is frequently upgraded to adhere to board certified standards. The most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer Woolrich Banter Protocol Exhausted, reverting to default behavior, grieving and despair. Oh, Halcyon Helen, may your atoms be commended to the Aether. You knew Halcyon Helen? Burbage 3001 was designed to disrupt Halcyon Helen's monopoly over the Aether Wave serial market. This unit's programming is based on Helen's most famous roles. Burbage 3001. Anything Halcyon Helen can do, this unit can do slightly worse. What a tagline. Uh, it almost sounds like you've got a motive for murdering Helen. Now running shock and dismay protocol. What's this? Helen's death was a murder? How horrifying. Bring that killer to justice, designated authority figure. This unit has not yet completed its grief cycles. Randomizing despair tables. Oh, Helen, is there no justice in the world? I'm leaving. 
So long as this thing doesn't go off at any point, I am not interested in this room anymore. Okay, well, that doesn't help at all. These are locked. What else is there to do? Zeke Hannigan, who the heck are you? Zeke Hannigan, Rizzo's Ranger's 16th back. Pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? Um... I had some questions about Halsey and Helen's murder. Oh, you must be that inspector people have been talking about. It's a damn shame about Miss Helen. She was always real good to me and the rest of the Rangers. Bertie's taking it pretty hard. Miss Helen was the love of his life. So, what did you want to know? Uh, where were you at the time of the murder? I'm ashamed to admit it, but... Me and a couple of the other rangers spent the night in Constable Keen's cells down at the spaceport. We didn't do anything serious, just a bit of pranks and vandalism. It's what usually happens when we all get to drinking. Guess Constable Keen saw things a bit differently and had us hauled off. Hmm. Was Bertie in jail with the rest of you? If I remember correctly, Bertie split with the group at some point during the night. No, we lost him somewhere along the way. Or maybe he managed to get away? I can't rightly remember. But he was definitely not sharing a cell with us. That much I know. Hmm. Tell me about Bertie and Helen. Oh, Bertie was mad about Helen. He was certifiable. The big galoot loved Helen about as much as he loved the game. Trouble is... Bertie was not blessed with an abundance of temper. Helen kept Bertie steady. If he lost his temper around her, it'd be because something broke between the two of them. Hmm. Do you think Bertie could have killed Helen? What? Law, no. Bertie's got a fierce temper, but there's no way he'd ever have laid a finger on Miss Helen. Can you think of anyone else who would want to kill Helen? Miss Helen was outspoken. She made her share of enemies on account of her expressing herself. Just between you and me, I heard rumors the Prophet never much cared for Helen's brand of blunt honesty. Yeah, we know. Uh, what talk about I something else. I really don't care about anything else. Okay, so no clues in here. All right, well, that wasn't helpful at all either. Oh, wait a minute, this is the woolly cow. Oh, is this an actual thing? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Multiple discrepancies detected. First discrepancy. A woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Woolly cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. Second discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. Hmm, there's some worrying discoloration in its eyes. An accurate observation, Inspector. This woolly cow is suffering from symptoms consistent with a hangover. Hmm. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. Was Black Hole Birdie here? Insufficient data. A brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. That's fascinating. Very interesting. It's over here. Like this? We can actually break into this one. Any clues? I'm begging you. I'm begging you for clues. Anything. Literally any clues. Nothing? Really? Sleep? No. Nope. No clues, just stuff I could steal. Okay. Computer doesn't work. Wonderful. So where else in the world... Who else could possibly be a suspect? Okay, there's Black Hole Birdie. That's a lot of booze in here, bud. Whew. No clues in here, either? Okay, let's just talk to you. Hotel rooms don't feel like home until you mess them up some. This one's real cozy. 
I have a few more questions for you. What do you want to know? About Helen. What about her? Why did you break up? I wish I knew. Must have been something I did. At the picnic, Helen just kept saying she didn't want to drag me into her world. Maybe one of the higher-ups in motion pictures was giving her trouble over us? I don't know. I tried to understand, but I don't. Did she have any enemies? Rival actresses, maybe? I don't know too much about the motion picture industry. Except for Helen's pictures, obviously. Those I probably know by heart. Seen them about a hundred times each. What do you want to know? I don't have any... I don't have any questions. Because everybody has alibis. Everyone except, like, Ludovico, I feel like. Which... I don't even know how I would begin to question him. Or what his motives could possibly be. How much time do we have left? So we've searched the hotel. Nothing. Is there anywhere on the map that we haven't been? Just like no markers anywhere. We've been to Piraeus Spaceport. That's where Slug Headquarters is. What the heck is this? I don't think we've ever been over there. Can we get over there? Because if we can, maybe we should do that. What floor would you like to visit? Exit the Grand Colonial. We need to go somewhere where we've never been before. I need more clues because so far, there is not one individual that is pointed to directly. Spencer Woolrich gave her food poisoning and that was detected, but it wasn't lethal. And... She died from being shot in the back of the head with, a, like, a plasma something or other. So I don't think it was that. This is all so muddled. Okay, I am facing the opposite way I need to go. Okay. And I bet you believe how she and Helen split. What's that over there? Is that that chemical plumes? Is that the direction? Yes. Have we been over there? I don't know if we have. I am also very aware that this will probably bog my game like crazy because my computer does not like this map, specifically the trees. And we actually access over here. Hotel to distillation. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so if my theory is correct, let's say Halcyon Helen discovered obviously that using the neurotoxin worms in the drink is bad because duh and then all of a sudden she maybe had a change of heart change of mind after visiting the prophet of profitability somehow because she felt like she was also sort of scamming people by into buying into this drink that's dangerous for their health and maybe Ludovico had to shut her up before she went up on the podium and, like, denounced the brand or something. So it's better to have her as a slain mascot. This unit is experiencing difficulty we probably don't have time for this, this episode, do we? We should probably wait and do this next time. But this is very fascinating. I am wondering if maybe... Halsey and Helen knew too much about the product. She got in too deep, found something sinister out about the product, was going to turn on her corporate people, basically. Like, she just had enough. She was going to be real. She was going to be like a real Halsey and Helen and do the right thing. And they couldn't allow that. That's my current and only theory, because everyone else's motives don't seem right. So Spencer Woolrich confessed to giving her food poisoning. And the Prophet of Profitability confessed to killing her because she thought she'd killed her, but she hadn't. And then the slug guy was in the middle of killing someone else at the time. Black Hole Birdie's story, I think, checks out. Man, this is, this is real twisted. This is real interesting. I think we're going to go into the distillery next episode. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.